Yes, so because hepatitis C doesn't replicate well in culture, including in animal cells, it's very difficult to make a live attenuated or even a killed vaccine. So the strategy employed here was to use viral vectors, specifically chimpanzee adenovirus 3 and modified vaccinia and carovirus, uh, not capable of replicating, but encoding hepatitis C virus non-structural proteins. So the point of the vaccine was to induce robust T cell responses, not neutralizing antibodies because the envelope component of the vaccine isn't, of the virus, isn't in the vaccine. And that was the strategy employed. The first vaccine was the chimpanzee and the virus three given initially or placebo. Then eight weeks later, the second dose of placebo or the modified vaccine Ankara, both encoding, both the chimpanzee and the virus and the modified vaccine Ankara encoding the non-structural proteins of hep C. So this is the first ever trial that could look at efficacy of a hepatitis C virus vaccine. So we've not attempted in the past to test any vaccine against hepatitis C to see if it could modulate the course of disease. So because the vaccine didn't contain envelope and wasn't predicted to induce neutralizing antibodies or reduce incidence, the primary outcome was to look at a reduction in the development of chronic infection. It's really chronic infection that mediates the vast majority, almost all, disease from hepatitis C. And then the idea was that if we could reduce the risk upon exposure of the development of chronic infection, that would have a big impact both on transmission of disease because people wouldn't remain persistently infected, and also would reduce the uh, likelihood of developing disease at later stages. So the vaccines were well tolerated and did induce T cell responses, although less robustly than in healthy volunteers. The vaccine trial that took place in people who are actively injecting drugs, and we're not certain if that patient population or other factors led to the slightly less robust responses seen. But uh, in the end, there was a blunting of peak HCV RNA by about sixfold in vaccinees. So we saw lower geometric mean peak HCV RNA levels. But finally, that did not result in either a reduction of incidence or in progression to chronic infection.